Antelope, Wikipedia article audio. An antelope is a member of a number of even-toed ungulate species indigenous to various regions in Africa and Eurasia. Antelopes comprise a wastebasket taxon within the family Bovidae, encompassing those old-world species that are not cattle, sheep, buffalo, bison, or goats. Even so, antelope are generally more deer-like than other bovids. A group of antelope is called a herd. The English word antelope first appeared in 1417 and is derived from the Old French antelope, itself derived from medieval Latin antalopus, which in turn comes from the Byzantine Greek word antholops, first attested in Eustathius of Antioch, according to whom it was a fabulous animal haunting the banks of the Euphrates very savage, hard to catch and having long, saw-like horns capable of cutting down trees. It perhaps derives from Greek anthos and ops, perhaps meaning beautiful eye or alluding to the animal's long eyelashes. This, however, may be a later folk etymology. The word talipus and calipus, from Latin, came to be used in heraldry. In 1607, it was first used for living, servine animals. Etymology Species The 91 species, most of which are native to Africa, occur in about 30 genera. The classification of tribes or subfamilies within Bovidae is still a matter of debate, with several alternative systems proposed. Antelope are not a cladistic or taxonomically defined group. The term is used to describe all members of the family Bovidae that do not fall under the category of sheep, cattle, or goats. Usually, all species of the Alcelaphini, Antilopini, Hippotrogony, Reduncini, Cephalophini, many Bovini, the Grey Reebok, and the Impala are called antelopes. No antelope species is native to Australasia or Antarctica, nor do any extant species occur in the Americas, though the nominate Saiga subspecies occurred in North America during the Pleistocene. North America is currently home to the native pronghorn, which taxonomists do not consider a member of the antelope group, but which is locally referred to as such. In Europe, Several extinct species occur in the fossil record, and the saiga was found widely during the Pleistocene but did not persist into the later Holocene, except in Russian Kalmykia and Astrakhan Oblast. More species of antelope are native to Africa than to any other continent, almost exclusively in savannas, with 20 to 35 species CO occurring over much of East Africa. Because savanna habitat in Africa has expanded and contracted five times over the last three million years, and the fossil record indicates this is when most extant species evolved, it is believed that isolation in refugia during contractions was a major driver of this diversification. Other species occur in Asia, the Arabian Peninsula is home to the Arabian oryx and Dorcas gazelle. India is home to the Nilgai, Chinkara, Black Buck, Tibetan Antelope, and Four-Horned Antelope, while Russia and Central Asia have the Tibetan Antelope, and Saiga. Many species of antelopes have been imported to other parts of the world, especially the United States, for exotic game hunting. With some species possessing spectacular leaping and evasive skills, individuals may escape. Texas in particular has many game ranches, as well as habitats and climates, that are very hospitable to African and Asian Plains antelope species. Accordingly, wild populations of blackbuck antelope, gemsbok, and nilgai may be found in Texas. Antelope live in a wide range of habitats. Numerically, most live in the African savannas. However, 
many species are more secluded, such as the forest antelope, as well as the extreme cold living saiga, the desert adapted Arabian oryx, the rocky copy living clipspringer, and semi aquatic Cetatunga. Distribution and habitat Species living in forests, woodland, or bush tend to be sedentary, but many of the plains species undertake long migrations. These enable grass eating species to follow the rains and thereby their food supply. The news and gazelles of East Africa perform some of the most impressive mass migratory circuits of all mammals. For example, a male common eland can measure 178 cm at the shoulder and weigh almost 950 kg, whereas an adult royal antelope may stand only 24 cm at the shoulder and weigh a mere 1.5 kg. Morphology Not surprisingly for animals with long, slender yet powerful legs, Many antelopes have long strides and can run fast. Some are also adapted to inhabiting rock copies and crags. Both Debatags and Jirnooks habitually stand on their two hind legs to reach acacia and other tree foliage. Different antelope have different body types, which can affect movement. Dikers are short bush-dwelling antelope that can pick through dense foliage and dive into the shadows rapidly. Gazelles and springbok are known for their speed and leaping abilities. Even larger antelope, such as nilgai, elands, and kudus, are capable of jumping 2.4 m or greater, although their running speed is restricted by their greater mass. Antelope have a wide variety of coverings, though most have a dense coat of short fur. In most species, the coat is some variation of a brown color, often with white or pale underbodies. Exceptions include the zebra-marked zebra diker, the gray, black, and white yentinx diker, and the black lequi. Most of the spiral-horned antelopes have pale, vertical stripes on their backs. Many desert and semi-desert species are particularly pale, some almost silvery or whitish. The bisa and southern oryxes have grey and black pelages with vivid black and white faces. Common features of various gazelles are white rumps, which flash a warning to others when they run from danger, and dark stripes mid-body. The springbok also has a pouch of white brush-like hairs running along its back, which opens up when the animal senses danger, causing the dorsal hairs to stand on end. Antelope are ruminants, so have well-developed molar teeth, which grind cud into a pulp for further digestion. They have no upper incisors, but rather a hard upper gum pad, against which their lower incisors bite to tear grass stems and leaves. Behavior. Like many other herbivores, antelopes rely on keen senses to avoid predators. Their eyes are placed on the sides of their heads, giving them a broad radius of vision with minimal binocular vision. Their horizontally elongated pupils also help in this respect. Acute senses of smell and hearing give antelope the ability to perceive danger at night out in the open. These same senses play an important role in contact between individuals of the same species, markings on their heads, ears, legs, and rumps are used in such communication. Many species flash such markings, as well as their tails, vocal communications include loud barks, whistles, moos, and trumpeting. Many species also use scent marking to define their territories or simply to maintain contact with their relatives and neighbors. Mating Strategies Many antelope are sexually dimorphic. In most species, both sexes have horns, but those of males tend to be larger. Males tend to be larger than the females, 
but exceptions in which the females tend to be heavier than the males include the bush diker, dwarf antelope, cape grey spock, and oribi, all rather small species. A number of species have hornless females. In some species, the males and females have differently colored pelages. Defense The size and shape of antelope horns varies greatly. Those of the dikers and dwarf antelopes tend to be simple spikes, but differ in the angle to the head from backward curved and backward pointing to straight and upright. Other groups have twisted, spiral, recurved, lyrate, or long, curved horns. Horns are not shed and their bony cores are covered with a thick, persistent sheath of horny material, both of which distinguish them from antlers. Horns are efficient weapons, and tend to be better developed in those species where males fight over females than in solitary or lecking species. With male-male competition for mates, horns are clashed in combat. Males more commonly use their horns against each other than against another species. The boss of the horns is typically arranged in such a way that two antelopes striking at each other's horns cannot crack each other's skulls, making a fight via horn more ritualized than dangerous. Many species have ridges in their horns for at least two-thirds the length of their horns, but these ridges are not a direct indicator of age. Status Antelope are often classified by their reproductive behavior. Small antelope, such as dick dicks, tend to be monogamous. They live in a forest environment with patchy resources, and a male is unable to monopolize more than one female due to this sparse distribution. Larger forest species often form very small herds of two to four females and one male. Some species, such as lequis, pursue a lek breeding system, where the males gather on a lekking ground and compete for a small territory, while the females appraise males and choose one with which to mate. Large grazing antelope, such as impala or wildebeest, form large herds made up of many females and a single breeding male, which excludes all other males, often by combat. Antelope pursue a number of defense strategies, often dictated by their morphology. Lifespan Large antelope that gather in large herds, such as wildebeest, rely on numbers and running speed for protection. In some species, adults will encircle the offspring, protecting them from predators when threatened. Many forest antelope rely on cryptic coloring and good hearing to avoid predators. Forest antelope often have very large ears and dark or striped colorations. Small antelope, especially dikers, evade predation by jumping into dense bush where the predator cannot pursue. Spring box use a behavior known as starting to confuse predators. Humans Open grassland species have nowhere to hide from predators, so they tend to be fast runners. They are agile and have good endurance these are advantages when pursued by sprint-dependent predators such as cheetahs, which are the fastest of land animals, but tire quickly. Reaction distances vary with predator species and behavior. For example, gazelles may not flee from a lion until it is closer than 200 m. Lions hunt as a pride or by surprise, usually by stalking, one that can be seen clearly is unlikely to attack. However, Sprint-dependent cheetahs will cause gazelles to flee at a range of over 800 meters. About 25 species are rated by the IUCN as endangered, such as the Dama gazelle and Mountain Nyala. A number of subspecies are also endangered, including the giant sable antelope and the moor gazelle. The main causes for concern for these species are habitat loss 
competition with cattle for grazing, and trophy hunting. The Chiru or Tibetan antelope is hunted for its pelt, which is used in making shatish, an incredibly fine material used in shawls. Since the fur can only be removed from dead animals, and each animal yields very little of the downy fur, several antelope must be killed to make a single shawl. This unsustainable demand has led to enormous declines in the Chiru population. The saiga is hunted for its horns, which are considered an aphrodisiac by some cultures. Only the males have horns, and have been so heavily hunted that some herds contain up to 800 females to one male. The species has shown a steep decline and is critically endangered. Culture Domestication Hybrid antelope Heraldry It is difficult to determine how long antelope live in the wild. With the preference of predators towards old and infirm individuals, which can no longer sustain peak speeds, few wild prey animals live as long as their biological potential. In captivity, wildebeest have lived beyond 20 years old, and impalas have reached their late teens. The antelope's horn is prized for medicinal and magical powers in many places. The horn of the male saiga, in eastern practice, is ground as an aphrodisiac, for which it has been hunted nearly to extinction. In the Congo, it is thought to confine spirits. Christian iconography sometimes uses the antelope's two horns as a symbol of the two spiritual weapons Christians possess, the Old Testament and the New Testament. The antelope's ability to run swiftly has also led to their association with the wind, such as in the Rig Veda, as the steeds of the Maruts and the wind god Vayu. There is, however, no scientific evidence that the horns of any antelope have any change on a human's physiology or characteristics. Domestication of animals requires certain traits in the animal that antelope do not typically display. Most species are difficult to contain in any density, due to the territoriality of the males, or in the case of oryxes, an aggressive disposition, they can easily kill a human. Because many have extremely good jumping abilities, providing adequate fencing is a challenge. Also, antelope will consistently display a fear response to perceived predators, such as humans making them very difficult to herd or handle. Although antelope have diets and rapid growth rates highly suitable for domestication, this tendency to panic and their non-hierarchical social structure explains why farm-raised antelope are uncommon. Ancient Egyptians kept herds of gazelles and adaks for meat, and occasionally pets. It is unknown whether they were truly domesticated, but it seems unlikely as no domesticated gazelles exist today. However, humans have had success taming certain species, such as the elands. These antelopes sometimes jump over each other's backs when alarmed, but this incongruous talent seems to be exploited only by wild members of the species, tame elands do not take advantage of it and can be enclosed within a very low fence. Their meat, milk, and hides are all of excellent quality, and experimental eland husbandry has been going on for some years in both Ukraine and Zimbabwe. In both locations, the animal has proved wholly amenable to domestication. Similarly, European visitors to Arabia reported tame gazelles are very common in the Asiatic countries of which the species is a native and the poetry of these countries abounds in allusions both to the beauty and the gentleness of the gazelle. Other antelope that have been tamed successfully include the gemsbok, the kudu, and the springbok. Nor are the characteristics described above necessarily barriers to domestication. For further information, see Animal Domestication. 
A wide variety of antelope hybrids have been recorded in zoos, game parks, and wildlife ranches, due to either a lack of more appropriate mates in enclosures shared with other species or a misidentification of species. The ease of hybridization shows how closely related some antelope species are. With few exceptions, most hybrid antelope occur only in captivity. Most hybrids occur between species within the same genus. All reported examples occur within the same subfamily. As with most mammal hybrids, the less closely related the parents, the more likely the offspring will be sterile. Antelopes are a common symbol in heraldry, though they occur in a highly distorted form from nature. The heraldic antelope has the body of a stag and the tail of a lion, with serrated horns, and a small tusk at the end of its snout. This bizarre and inaccurate form was invented by European heralds in the Middle Ages, who knew little of foreign animals and made up the rest. The antelope was mistakenly imagined to be a monstrous beast of prey, the 16th century poet Edmund Spencer referred to it as being as fierce and fell as a wolf. Antelopes can all also occur in their natural form, in which case they are termed natural antelopes to distinguish them from the more usual heraldic antelope. The arms previously used by the Republic of South Africa featured a natural antelope, along with an oryx.